First, let me ask this from you. Why do you want to become the president of America? Yeah, it's a great question. And ultimately, I'm running because America has lost her way. Uh, we are in a bad way on nearly every front, economically, national security, uh, the family unit and structure. But most of all, uh, I want America to do right by her citizens, and I want America to do right by other countries and other the people, uh, people groups of other nations. And we have lost our way. And I believe that it, when we treat people right and you do right by other people in other countries, we can enjoy greater peace and greater prosperity. Uh, and it elevates mankind around the world. Good. The prophets that always you mention. God, family, and country. So as a candidate, how are you going to put these three things together and govern the country? Yeah, you know, some of the people who have never voted Republican before, in fact, they've been staunchly other parties, have really gotten behind my candidacy uh, because they have come to the place where Policy cannot solve the problems. Policy alone cannot solve the problems we face. And they recognize that they can keep fighting for the changes that they want to see, but they will fight until eternity and not things not be the way they desire until God is recognized in America once again. So that's why we say we need the help and blessing of an almighty God on America in order to have a good way forward. Now, uh, I can tell you that how that relates to the economy is everything, because you can put in great policy, but if it's not blessed, and there's a principle that says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. So when you recognize him, you can attain his blessing, and we need his blessing economically. We have record high inflation. We have families that can't afford to put food on their table. We have an uh, Im immigration system that is flawed and completely broken. And so we need uh, our national debt to be eliminated, not just reduced, not just the, the deficit or the bu budget balanced. We need our debt eliminated. And so we need a major fix in the economy. National security. We have to uh, have immigration reform. We have to have uh, our, uh, advance our military capabilities significantly. It has been uh, dramatically weakened through frivolous wars uh, and through uh, bad policy. And, and so that, though, that combination has made us extremely vulnerable and unable to defend ourselves uh, as per the Constitution to the fullest degree. And then the family unit. Here's, here's the net net. You can have the strongest military in the world, but the strength of a nation is equal to the strength of the family. So if you celebrate marriage and family, all the other marginalized or vulnerable people groups, actually their level and standard of living raises and rises as marriage and family is celebrated and promoted and, and grows. However, when you mock and destroy the family unit and you uh, celebrate the disintegration of the nuclear family, then all of the other groups fight for, to be seen. They fight for relevance. And you can't have it both ways. You have to celebrate family and marriage. And that actually allows for all of the other uh, forms of lifestyles uh, to, to survive and flourish. So that's why I say America needs God, and that's how it fits in with the economy, national security, and family. 